If you're looking for one strategy to focus on and make consistent profits with, then this video is going to be for you. Make sure to watch it to the end and by the end of it, you have a step-by-step -step guide with a strategy that you can follow and make money in the markets today. Okay, so here are the basic overall rules. I'll get into explaining them step-by-step -step in chart examples and how I use it, how you can use it. But effectively, you're going to be looking for a weekly draw on liquidity on the weekly time frame. You know, you can just focus on one pair if you want. You focus on a few pairs, analyze it at the start of every week and find your weekly draw on liquidity, which I'll show you how to do. Then you're going to be trading during the kill zones. So pick one kill zone. I like London because you get that Asian raised liquidity that's been engineered and it also aligns with my trading times. So find something that works for you and what pairs you trade. And then step three is going to be entering on imbalances because the imbalances are the footprints of the move. And if the move is in the direction towards your draw on liquidity, then you can be confident that you know, if you get pulled back to the imbalance, then it's going to continue in this direction to the liquidity. And there's some extra things you can do to improve the win rate, you know, reduce how many trades you're going to take, but improve the win rate if you can be more patient. You can wait for the Asian range to be swept as a rule. You know, you don't have to, but it can be an added rule, and I'll show you an example of both. And you can also wait for a change of character if you would prefer. But these extras are up to you. You know, it works with just these three rules. So you can focus on that to start with and then add more rules if you want to become more advanced. Or you can do it the other way around, you know, focus with all the rules trying to be patient and only taking a few trades with high win rate. And then when you become more experienced, you can be a bit more discretionary with how you trade. But effectively, two time frames is all you need. The weekly, and for me, I use the three minute on lower time frame. You can use the five minute, you can use the 15 minute, whatever you want. But for me, weekly time frame and three minutes. So I'm going to be going for an example on USD CAD here. And this week, you know, starting 23rd of October, my bias was bullish. And I sent this through to my uh, premium Discord. So if you're interested in that, then check it out in the description. But there was a draw on liquidity here, which I marked up, sent it through, and then both days provided a lower time from entry to take price into the direction of the draw on liquidity. But I will tell you how I actually came to that conclusion. So if we just go back and pretend we couldn't see that week, what I saw on the weekly time frame on USD CAD was looking for a previous PD race. So, you know, imbalances that have been respected. Here, you've got a clear imbalance. And price tapped into it, wicked up, and then pushed up again. You, know, you can see you've got this bullish market structure. Push up, pull back, and then push up again. I was con concerned about this candle here because we had a wick in it. It looked like a liquidity sweep during the week. Price pushed up, maybe reacted from a supply zone over there, and came back down. So I was a bit concerned about that. And then the week after, it didn't provide any more information. It was just a trading range within the range of the low and high of the previous week. So that also didn't give me much information to work with. But then the week before the current week, price closed bullish and you know, it closed above the previous week's uh, high closed outside of there strong bullish candle and looks like we're moving towards this high over here so that was my draw on liquidity for the week but if we just continue to the current week so then the first thing i do even if i don't have any bias yet just mark up the current weeks or previous weeks uh, high and low as potential draws on liquidity you know unless we get a trading range one of these is going to be swept or both of them and so that's how you can kind of have a bias and i'll get into more examples uh, for example, over here, in this candle here, pretend you didn't see this week, you mark up the high and low of this candle. This is in hindsight, obviously, so I'm just picking an example that has worked. It won't all work, but some of them will. You can see we reacted off this weekly PD array, you know, closed above with a strong wick. So now my bias for this week would be bullish and I'd be targeting this, uh, this weekly high. So you can look to get trades going long to take it up there. If you caught a very nice trade, with a pullback then that would have been a nice nice entry and you could have got multiple days in a row potentially going up we'll have a look at that later uh, but back to here i'm waiting for the high or the low to be broken my bias is bullish so i'm waiting for the high to be broken and then you can look for external targets so i was also looking at this point as a target because if this high gets swept then it's likely that we're going to continue and take out this liquidity so then once i had my bias all i did go down to the three minute time frame and we can go back okay i hope you're enjoying the video i just wanted to do a quick promo for the mentorship that i run so it's only 4.99 a month I try to make it affordable or 49.99 for the year i really think it's worth it and so do people that are currently enrolled so there's a community of like-minded traders that i'm hoping will grow to a big community where we can all help each other and learn so what's included the most valuable stuff that is included is the weekly mentorship calls and the weekly educational posts where I post private videos for you guys exclusively for the mentorship group. But there's also my trading signals and Q&A support with a results driven approach. But if you're looking to learn SMC more fully, I have an SMC course as well, which covers SMC concepts, psychology, trading plan, and the strategies that I use. So three strategies that you can use, two of them mechanical, one of them half mechanical, half discretionary, you can use them to make get results. And that's only $99.99 one time. If you wanna pay with PayPal or crypto, there's gonna be a link for PayPal in the description. 
and you can pay with crypto by sending me a message on Discord. And if you want a more personal approach, then I do offer one-to-one -one mentorship, which you can apply for in the form in the description. But let's go back to the video. Okay, so now I'm just on the three minute time frame. Okay, so just to recap, we've got our weekly bias, it's bullish, and we've got a high to target. And now we're in the London open kill zone. We've had the Asian range form over here. And we're looking for an imbalance to take an entry from. So the imbalance is going to be in the direction of our bias. So obviously, you know, as soon as the kill zone opens, we get a strong push down. And that's a good sign. You know, it's a good liquidity sweep. And it might trap traders into thinking that it's going to go short, pull back to that imbalance and go short. So we're not going to fall for that trap. And we're going to wait for a bullish imbalance to form and then take an entry from it. And this is where you could wait for the Asian low to be swept during your kill zone. But you don't have to and you will miss out on trades if you do. But you will just have a high open rate. So that's going to be up to you. And then you can place your stop loss above or below the recent high. So in this case, it's below this recent low. And you can target you know, the most recent structure. This trades is to 1 to 1.19. You can target the high, but I wouldn't recommend it. You just want to get your bias. You just want to catch quick scalps. You don't want to try and get these uh, higher risk rewards. I mean, this isn't crazily high, but I would suggest just trying to get scalps. So you could have a fixed reward. You could go 1 to 2 every time. And in this case, it would play out. You, know, you can go 1 to 3 if you want. But I'm not going to mess around with that in hindsight. If you want to fix rule to target, target the recent high or the Asian high or low, depending on which direction you're going, or target, I'd suggest one to two. So in this case, not the the best risk reward, but these are consistent. You know, you don't always need the highest risk rewards. You can be profitable with a one to one risk reward, and I know lots of people that are. So you don't need to do all these influencer one to twenty, one to one hundred risk rewards trades that everyone seems to be flexing, but. Onto the next trade, this is a, a better setup because you've got the Asian low swept. But again, our bias is still bullish. You know, we haven't hit the, the high yet. And that's what our expectation is for this week to hit this high. So down here, what you see is looking for a bullish imbalance. You know, you could have been waiting for it at any time, but we didn't get one until the Asian low was swept. So it gave us a nice confirmation or higher probability, I mean. Liquidity swept here and then price went down a bit and pushed up. And then what do we see? We get this small imbalance between this candle and this candle, and also an order lock, but I would suggest just stick to imbalances. So your entry would be there, stop loss below the low, and you can target, you, know, you can target this, start the kill zone for one to four. You can target the recent structure for one to 4.6, or you can target the Asian high, and in this case gave a one to 7.45. So it's a really powerful strategy if you can catch these good entries. You know, If you're on a higher time frame, maybe five minute or 50 minute, you get, Maybe wouldn't get this entry if I just quickly check that out. And that's the risk that you're going to play. So one thing you can do, uh, I would suggest testing it properly. It's just an idea I have. It's just be aggressive and enter on a close, you know, using engulfing candle. We've had a liquidity sweep and we've had a bullish engulfing candle. And there's a higher probability that we're going to continue up than continue down. So you could just take a risky trade like this. I mean, it's not risky, but more risky than the confirmation that we get through imbalance. And on the five minute, probably something similar. Is there any imbalance? No. So again, you get a better trade here, doing the same same rule, engulfing candle. But this is something to experiment. I haven't probably tested this, so don't take my word for it. I would suggest just stay to the three minute. So that's a very nice trade. And you can look at other other sessions as well. I haven't properly tested these either. I just like to use the London session. But there's potential here as well. You know, you could have had a loss if you took an entry there, and you would have had a win if you took an entry here. So that's going to be something to play around with and refine for your own liking. But these two trades played out very nicely. You know, this one high risk reward, this one low risk reward. And then moving on to the Wednesday. So we'll see what happens on Thursday and Friday. But for Wednesday, we actually hit our final target. So in Tuesday, we hit the previous week's high. If we go back up to the weekly time frame now, we can see that actually this high has been taken. So if we didn't have this target, I would stop trading for the week. But because they're also this target, then it's likely that price is going to continue. continue. And if I'm being honest, my bias would still continue up to this swing high, maybe on a monthly time frame or whatever. But there's probably going to be liquidity resting up there. And the fact that we're going strong up here, it's likely that we're going to continue up rather than reverse now. We're back down to the three minute. On Wednesday, our bias was still bullish and was targeting, you know, targeting uh, just higher, but targeting this as a, a higher time frame target. And then when price opens again, you get some bearish imbalance, but we're not entering that, our bias is bullish, even though you know we're above the Asian high. And so maybe you've trading an Asian range strategy, you're gonna look for sales because we're above. But our bias on the weekly time frame is bullish, so we're not looking for that. And you see price continue, no bullish imbalance, no bullish imbalance. And then you get some here. 
and it's okay to take trades you know when you're a bit extended up it's probably not ideal but it's definitely an option and it did play out very nicely here you know we got a pullback liquidity inducement there no price tapped in and pushed up so one way you can refine these and make sure you're trading well is just by using a 50 percent and seeing if it is below 50 percent you know like ict says like lots of traders say you want to be taking buyers in the discount and sellers in the premium so everything below this line is discount and so these are trades you want to take and everything above here is premium so these are where you want to take sales in this area if you were looking for sales but then how do you take an entry here well the simplest way is just to follow the same imbalance you know place your entry there place your stop loss below here and place your target up here just a one to 1 1.2 or if you're feeling adventurous you know you can go for a one to three over there let's assume you're just targeting up here for a one to 1 1.2 that's fine if you can make two percent a month you can still be profitable you can take two of these trades and then just quit for the month and take a rest and take a rest um but that's up to you the other way you could take a entry well entries could be the same but you could place your stop loss below the set of the three candles that make up the imbalance and this will give you a higher risk reward with obviously a higher risk of getting taken out because the imbalance is in the fixed place the price has to respect it could fill it and go a bit below and then continue up so that's something to be aware of and then the other entry if you wanted to change your entry could be by using an order block in the way that ict teaches it rather than smc they're a bit different but so ict you know, would mark up the open of this candle and you can place your entry just on there so it kind of this kind of confirmation here and it all kind of lands out with the consequent encroachment so the 50 percent of the imbalance but it can get quite confusing to combine all of this which is why i would suggest just stick to the simple start of the imbalance as your trade entry you know take the small risk award it's fine and you'll be a more peace of mind so that's my opinion obviously do what you want to do i'm not telling you to do anything but this is kind of the strategy i'd suggest sticking to one pair and one pair that involves the usd just because they have higher volume you, know, you can use usd cad that's what i like to trade you can use euro usd gbp usd you can use whatever you want you can use aussie dollar against new zealand dollar if you want but i wouldn't recommend it because spreads are higher and lower lower volume so so then just to summarize if i go back to the weekly what we're looking for is a weekly draw on liquidity, which I showed in the PD arrays to get your bias of the market structure on the weekly time frame. And look at the current week or previous week to the week you're trading. Look at that high and low to see which one's more likely to get hit. If there's any external liquidity outside of the range that you're looking for. If there's any liquidity there, you can mark that up as a second target just to have more confirmation that price is going to continue in that direction. Then you're going to look for lower time frame entries on the 5 minute, 3 minute, 1 minute, 15 minute, whatever you want to use. Just make sure you're consistent with it and you actually have experience trading that time frame. Don't try and trade the one minute if you haven't done it before because you will lose your account. And then you're going to be looking for imbalances. So imbalance in the direction towards your weekly draw on liquidity. Wait for a pullback. Enter, you know, set your limits or enter aggressively at the market execution if you want. But set your limits, stop loss below the low and then target recent high, Asian high, draw on liquidity up to you. But just stay consistent with it. And then the extra rules. You can wait for the Asian range to get swept and you can wait for a change of character if you want. But effectively the three fundamental rules will just hopefully make you profitable if you put the effort in to trade it learn it and experience it live in the markets with the psychological impact get that all in check and you will be great so hopefully you've learned something from this video and hopefully you can go away and actually make money with this strategy because that is the ultimate goal obviously don't focus on numbers too much because they will just come with time once you get more experience but that's the end goal for everyone i understand that we want to make a living from this so so hopefully this video will help you on that journey and if it has then please do leave a like subscribe to the channel Leave a comment, send me a message on Instagram, Discord, whatever, so we can stay in touch. And I always like to know how you guys are getting on with your trading. So yeah, keep me updated with that and have a nice day.